Hey there everyone, Dr. Beth Westy here, and I wanted to pop on and talk about post-trauma and postpartum hormones and how that can be affecting your results, you know, your efforts, right? All these things that you may have been struggling with or feeling like, oh my gosh, I can't believe I um, have been working so hard and I'm not feeling good, what's going on? And you keep looking at what you're currently doing versus, okay, what's happened recently in your life that could be affecting this, right? Your health is cumulative, all these things matter. Um, I do talk about these things in the 12 week challenge and we, I guide you through this, we guide you through this. So I'm gonna put a link here for the wait list so you guys can get on the wait list if you are not on the wait list. Um, nope, I didn't do it, hold on. Get on the wait list, there, there, okay. There, ah, there it is, now I see it. <laughs> So you can get on the wait list. Um, we start uh, October 5th, but registration opens September 18th. So registration usually fills within 24 hours. So I'm gonna get into some of this content here. I've had some questions on this and some asks for this, but before I just dive right in, I wanna introduce you to somebody. I wanna introduce you to this little roly poly little guy. Oh, hi buddy, hi buddy. Well, right now he's called Murray. Can you hear him sniffing? Little sniffers? Little sniffers, he's had a big day. He had a very big day. We did a little road trip to go get him. And then this is little Murray's little pupper. yes. So this is Spot's nephew. Yes, Spot was our Springer, yeah, so he's an English Springer Spaniel. Spot was our Springer and he was five and we had found out in March that he had stage four lymphoma and made it until May, so. We were very sad about that, but very happy when we found out there was a, another litter available with this guy. Look at his face. So he looks very different than Spot. He looks, and he's just, he's very little, right? They were just born in July, uh, mid-July. So he looks very different from Spot right now. Um, and his markings are very different. Um, but he is the same breed and from the same family. Look at this little fish. So you guys are gonna see a lot of him. Okay, say good night everyone. It's time for my bedtime. I'm so sleepy, I ran around all the time. Yeah, and I'm gonna talk about hormones. Good night everyone. Look at his face, right? This is really unusual markings. So again, mwah. night, night. <laughs> Thanks kiddo. Whew, okay, he is warm. I am almost sweating. <laughs> oh my goodness. Whew, so. <laughs> I can't take the cuteness. I know I can't either. I've taken so many pictures and I'm like, I shouldn't post that many because it's so fun. But all right, so postpartum hormones, postpartum trauma um, or post-trauma hormones. I wanted to touch on this because I had some questions on this before. Um, so essentially what happens in the body? So it's very similar postpartum. So after having a baby, that's a major trauma. Whether you have a you know vaginal birth, whether you have a C-section, it doesn't matter how the baby comes out it's trauma to the body, mm -hmm. yes. And when we talk about things like um, pregnancy, the same thing is gonna be uh, you know, uh, applicable to your body even if you're not pregnant. So here, stay with me for a second. Pregnancy, it's easy to understand because there's like this thing that happens, right? Like this huge shift and change in your body. Your health during your pregnancy is oftentimes correlated mostly to your health before you even get pregnant. Your health is cumulative. I say this all the time because it really does matter. If you're healthy going into a pregnancy, you're most likely gonna have a healthy pregnancy, healthy baby, all those things, right? And then postpartum, you're gonna have an easier time getting that back, uh, replete, you know, replenishing all the nutrients that may have been depleted, all these things, because it's tough. It's really, really tough, right? It's tough on your body, tough on your system. Same thing applies if you go through a trauma. Major stressors, injuries, illnesses, surgeries. It doesn't matter what the thing is that you have to go through. Your body goes through a major thing. So the healthier you are going into the thing, the better you're gonna have, uh, the better time you're gonna have. Oh my God, like it's a good time to go through. No, it's gonna be easier on your system to go through and then you're gonna end up in a better place afterwards, right? It's like if you're running a race, everybody's gonna to have to run this race. As everybody encounters stress, all these other things. But the healthier you are, the more of a head start you get, right? Yes. 
So that's essentially the same thing. And this also applies when you're going through perimenopause, menopause, all these things. I can't tell you how many women I work with that are in perimenopause or menopause and they had hormone issues, like bad hormone issues before they went through perimenopause and then perimenopause just throws them for a loop. Mm -hmm. Again, these are all things that we do in the 12 week challenge. Go in the sh uh, comments right there, get on the wait list, make sure, make sure you are getting this info because this really does matter. It absolutely does. It absolutely does. Okay, so what are some things that, you know, can shift in your hormones that, that show that, oh my gosh, this could be part of a post-trauma, postpartum shift in my body, right? Uh, you fatigue really quickly. You might feel like, oh, I'm feeling good right now. Okay, I feel good today. Let me go do these things. And you start doing the things and all of a sudden you're like, oh, good Lord, I'm tired. You hit a wall, right? If you're an endurance athlete, oh, you're, you bonk. That's what it is. You just bonk. You know, you hit a wall at some point. You're like, I'm doing so good. I'm going to go to the grocery store and then run this other errand and blah, blah, blah. And halfway through it, you're like, what? Oh my gosh, I might have to just go sit in my car and rest before I even drive home. Yeah, that type of fatigue. And it just hits you like a truck. It's fast. That is an example of how quick these um, hormones can shift and how quickly it can deplete your system. Brain fog. Oh my God. Brain fog is like a symptom for so many things out there. Yep, it is for this too. It for sure is for this too. Um, rapid weight loss and or can then transitioning right into weight gain. If you go through a, a major trauma, stressor, something like that, you could lose weight very quickly within the first couple of weeks or something post trauma. And then oftentimes your system will see that as a, another stressor. So it's going to help you out. It's going to help you out by slowing down your metabolism a ton so then you're going to have a rapid weight gain that you cannot lose mm -hmm. it's helping it's helping it's helping you out mm. yeah uh decrease in libido this happens so okay so postpartum not having a libido or having that shift and change absolutely hormonal right your hormone levels have not balanced and it doesn't matter if you start having regular cycle or not it can really mess with your systems, you know, normal hormone levels, which affects your libido. This is not you liking your partner or, lo or not, right? It is literally going through a trauma, completely throws a, a wrench in the libido system hormonally for you. So, I mean, there's a lot more about why that happens, right? But essentially what it comes down to is that your system is not gonna have the same ebb and flow of hormone yet because it gets completely thrown off track Mm-hmm. Yes. It doesn't have the same ebb and flow of hormone and it can take a little bit to even out restart or for you to feel like it's normal again. Yeah. So these are things that we work on in the 12 week challenge. Libido is a big thing. It's a, I didn't mean to make a joke. <laughs> Your libido is a big indicator, big indicator that there's something off in your system right? Oftentimes we were like, well, yeah, it's just been like that for a while. Or I guess it's gotten worse in the past couple of years. I don't know, blah, blah, blah. But it does matter. It means that there's something off in your system. So keep that in mind. Yes. All right. And then being more sensitive to stress after you've been through something like this, it's sort of like your body's on edge already. It doesn't take very much to put you over the edge. And really, <laughs> I mean, Hey, that's okay. We were just talking about libido. If it it's, it's fine. Um, but it doesn't take that much more, right? You're like right there. It's like the last straw, everything and anything could be that last straw. And then you're just trying to bring yourself down again. Oh, last straw. Oh, there it is again. Right? So you're thinking like, gosh, I just must be crabby. I'm super irritable. I'm moody. What's wrong with me? Ugh, why can't I just be happy with this? Everything and everyone is pissing me off. Ugh. No, it's not you, right? It's like you have this, you know, the bucket that's already completely filled with stressors already from all of this stuff, right? Stressors, right? And then it's got that little bubble on it, that water tension bubble, you know what I'm talking about? It's totally full, right? Totally full. One more little drop and it starts spilling over. Yeah. And then that one little drop it spills over but then it doesn't get like dumped out or anything. You're still there. Okay. Yep. And one more little drop, it spills over. 
that's what it's like being that sensitive to stressors. This is all about post-trauma, postpartum, and what your system goes through. And again, post, you know, even going through perimenopause, menopause, this is what it's like. Your system is not reset. So one of the things we do in the 12 week challenge is work on getting you a bigger bucket for that stress because as we work on shifting and changing and you know managing and mitigating stress out there, sometimes it just happens. You can't control it. You can't control if somebody's going to swerve in front of you in traffic, didn't slam on their brakes, and you almost get into an accident, right? You can't control other people sending you messages, right? You know, texting you or emailing you something where you're like, uh, I thought we were friends. What happened? Ugh. Right? You can't control that. So what you can control is your bucket. We can dump your bucket and we can get you a bigger bucket to be able to handle these things as we work on all this other stuff. Yes. So again, that's what we do in the 12 week challenge. Um, other resources I have for you are uh, my book, The Female Fat Solution. This is on Amazon. Uh, my podcast, The Female Health Solution, and then my YouTube channel, which is called Dr. Beth Westy. Uh, tons of info for you, tons of resources out there. Um, and these are just some important things that I want to touch on. Now, if you have questions on this, if you have, um, if you're curious about one of these things or multiple of these things or saying, hey, I feel like this has happened for me and maybe my fatigue turned around, but I still haven't lost the weight and my libido hasn't come back. What do I do? Let me know and I can talk more about, you know, next steps, that type of a thing to help turn this around. But the first thing is realizing it's not you, right? It's not that you're just being a turd. It's not that you're not liking people all of a sudden. You, your body and your system has been through a lot and it can take some time to right that ship. It can say, take some time for, to turn this around. But you absolutely can. You absolutely have the power and the presence to do this as long as you have the right tools. And that's what we do in the 12 week challenge. You get tools, you learn how to work with your body physiology, you're shifting and changing hormones. So you function better, you feel better, and you keep your results. So that's what I got for you guys tonight. Thank you for tuning in. Um, thank you for indulging me with the new puppy. There's just gonna be more pictures and stuff in my stories because he is so cute. <laughs> All right, so I hope you guys have a great rest of your night. Have a wonderful weekend, and I will see you later.